Hello online pipe community, Ethan Parsimonious Piper here, and it is time to kick off the week with an edition of YouTube Piper's Care. In my Friday 7LE, even though it's not quite Friday, I have got a bowl of my very own secondhand bookshop. Contrary to rumors that seem to be swirling out there, there is no haunted bookshop in this. It is named in honor of Haunted Bookshop, but it is entirely composed of component leaf. I encourage you guys to try your hand at blending. If you know that you like something in particular, tune it to your own taste. Let's dive right in this week. South Alabama Piper told me his family had just gotten over COVID, but that his wife's grandmother was still in the hospital uh, with some other issues. Uh, I'm not sure if she had gotten over her COVID, if she had COVID, or if she's just in the hospital with other issues. But let's keep her in our prayers this week. North Georgia Piper just accepted a job offer. He had told us he was excited about uh, getting an offer uh, it's an opportunity for him to expand on what he's good at and build his career as a young man. Drop by, give him some encouragement and support if you would. Trucking Piper. Doug says his physical therapy is coming along nicely, but he is still months away from having full range of motion in that shoulder. Let's keep him in our prayers and hope that uh, that PT goes well. Maybe he'll heal up. It's harder as we get older, but maybe he'll heal up faster than they expect. Wouldn't that be nice? Blake Chancery. <laughs> Just his luck, he came down with pneumonia for International Pipe Smoking Day. Uh, I hope that pneumonia is gone. I have not seen an update from you, Blake, but we will keep you in our prayers and hope that it doesn't or didn't spread throughout the household. Uh, that can be nasty. Carmudgeon Piper, as, um, as we have as we have noted over the last year, his dad has really, uh, really been struggling with uh, this, um, this diabetes um, and circulation in his feet. Well, now comes the next um, shoe to drop, to use a foot analogy pun saying. And that is that um, that he's going to require and, and has been moved into a memory care uh, facility uh, in order to keep his health safeguarded. Uh, that's a that is a rough step uh, because as many of us who have put um, relatives uh, into such facilities know uh, it. It may not be the final step, but it is a step toward that. Uh, keep Doug in your prayers and, and his dad. Uh, uh, this is a family that they've got some rough months ahead of them. Ghost Cobb, Sean, um, he had shared with me on the phone and then in a video the other uh, the other day. He was at home and uh, had a blackout. Fell hit his heart, head pretty hard. Now he said he landed on his face. I said, how could you tell? Because we, uh, we can't see any difference. But uh, joking aside, Sean, uh, uh, glad that you're okay. Uh, drop by, give Sean a little uh, encouragement there. It's scary um, having a disability and uh, and an issue like this comes up. Sean's a good one. Last, certainly, certainly not least, 
Kevin Twiner shared that uh, he and his wife uh, lost a beloved dog. All of us who have loved and lost dogs in particular. Eh. Some of you have loved and lost cats and say that you experienced the same thing. I've lost cats. <laughs> I, I haven't mourned them greatly. But I know that you do sometimes have the uh, the very same attachment that we do to our dogs. And Kevin, uh, Kevin and his wife lost a dog. And that's tough. Um, they are family members. Uh, you come to give your hearts to them and you swear each time you lose one that you're not going to do it again. And then you do it again and you give even bigger part of your heart to them. <sighs> it, it, some of us just don't learn. But it's one of those things that that makes life livable if you would drop by and give kevin a little support and keep them in your prayers this week folks we've got a wonderful community we have a community that does express support and care for each other and and i know for a fact that um that there are a number of you who Take uh, my lists each week and more on your own and, and do, in fact, keep them in your prayers. And I've seen people drop by and, and leave supporting comments. Uh, this is just a great community. So I'll tell you what I tell you every week. Folks, if you are the praying type, keep these guys in your prayers. If you're not, well, you should be. And with that, light something you like. Let's kick this week off right.